Hi, I'm Bob, and welcome to Between the Sheets, where we look at Microsoft Excel and related technologies. In a previous episode, I compared a few artificial intelligence tools to see how well they can help with Excel. One of them was Excel Formula Bot, and it had trouble providing a solution for a difficult Excel sheet. Right after posting the video, I was contacted by David Bressler, the company's founder. He said they were making some improvements to their software, and I should try it again. So in this episode, I'm going to give it three tests. The original one from that episode and two more challenging problems. Now, I have not tested any of these in advance, so I don't know what's going to happen. You're going to see it live, oh, live, the same time I do. So let's take a look and see how it works. Here we have an Excel workbook that has three tabs, and those are going to be the three tests that we run. And you see we have them down here. So the first one for middle names, and you can see down column A, we've got full names. Some of them have middle names, some have middle initials, some of them have just a first and a last name. So what I want is a formula that will extract the first and last names and remove anything in between. The second sheet this has also full names in column A, and they have salutations like Mr. and Ms. We want a formula that will remove these and leave us with just the names. Yes, Excel has mechanical ways of doing this, like text to columns and flash fill, but I want a formula to do that. Let's take a look at the third sheet. So this one has, in column A, we have people's full names, and we want the second column in column B to have their first and last initials. This is an exercise I do in my intermediate or advanced Excel classes, so I already know how to create a formula to do this. Question is, can Excel Formula Bot do it? So let's go back to the first test for middle names, and let's go to Excel Formula Bot and see what happens. So I'm already logged in. You can see here's my home screen. And before we do anything, I uh, just want to take a quick look at the site itself. I like this. I like the way it's laid out. And we've got all kinds of great stuff that we could do here. What we're going to do is, in a moment, we're going to go into formulas, and I'm going to give it a problem, and it's going to give me a formula. We're going to test it. But you could also go to basic tasks, and it will give you step by step. Here is how you do, you know, here's how you do this, how you do that which is pretty cool. It's kind of like having Bob sitting there at your desk. Um, we could also go here to scripts, and this will help you create Visual Basic for applications, the Excel flavor of VBA. So if you want to do some Excel programming uh, macros, um, this will help you do that. I think that's pretty cool. You could also have it create regular expressions. Those could be kind of tricky, kind of difficult, so this uh, will help you do that. And the last thing here is Excel Formula Bot can help you write structured query language. Excel interfaces with SQL, so that's a handy thing to do here. So let's go to formulas. And the first two things I need to do is choose that, yes, I'm doing this in Excel, not Google Sheets. And I want it to generate a formula rather than explain. By the way, this um, particular problem we're dealing with really shouldn't matter if we're using Excel or Google Sheets. but just to be safe, just to be correct, I'm going to choose Excel. So you don't have to sit there and watch me type in. I've already copied my question to the clipboard. So I'm going to click in this text box and paste. But I'm going to read it to you just in case you need that. It says, I have an Excel sheet with full names from A4 through A16. Some names have a middle name, some have a middle initial, and some names have only a first and last name. Give me a formula for column B that will remove all middle names and initials and keep only first and last names. So let's go down and submit. I did not speed this up with video. Uh, this gave me the uh, result pretty quickly. It gives me this formula, so I'm gonna click copy. It's copied to the clipboard. Now let's go into Excel, and I'm gonna double click that first cell and paste. Now, right off the bat, we can see this is not 100%, because notice that even though I said A4 through A16, for some reason, this is giving me references to A5, and you can see that it's that A5. I'm not going to hold that too hard against it. 
So I'm going to change all of the cell references here from A5 to A4. And now you can see it is A4 that's selected. So I'm going to press either Control Enter in Windows or Command Enter on Mac. That looks good so far. Let's autofill. I'll get the autofill dot and double click. And let's take a close look. And this looks great. So except for getting the row wrong, which is not a huge deal, uh, it looks like this works. This is what did not work uh, the last time I tested this. OK, let's do the second test, salutation. And let's go and paste this question into Excel formula dot. And I'm going to click Reset. And again, we're doing Excel. We want to generate a formula. Click in there. I'm going to paste the second question. And I'll read it to you. It says, I have an Excel sheet where cells A4 through A11 have full names, including salutations like Mr. and Ms. Give me a formula for column B that removes the salutations and keeps only the names. Now let's go and submit. All right, well, this is kind of complicated, but let's see what happens. Let me copy, go to Excel, go to double click and paste. So this row is correct. I'm going to again enter that. That looks good. Double click. And this is mostly good. Um, notice there's, again, this is a minor issue here. There's some spaces there in those names. And um, this really should not be that hard to get rid of those. I'm just going to put in the trim function. I'll double click that. I'm going to wrap the whole thing in the trim function. Trim will remove extra spaces, kind of like the name sound. So after the equal sign, I'm going to put in trim, open that up. And then at the end, I'm going to close the parenthesis for that. So that space is gone. And you see we've got a few of these. Uh, let's go and autofill that. OK, so that works. So we just needed to add a little function, really not a major disaster. And by the way, there's nothing wrong with this formula that it created. If I were going to do this, uh, I would probably have it look for the period, right? Because whatever salutation we have, it's they all end with a period. So I would probably have it look for the period, find the space, and then remove whatever is there, rather than looking for, you know, Mr. Ms. Professor and whatnot. But again, this is artificial intelligence. So let's, I will say this passes. So let's go to the third test for initials. And again, let's go back to Excel formula bot. I'm going to reset. We're doing this Excel. We want to generate a formula. Click in there, and I'm going to paste the third question. I'll read it to you. I have an Excel sheet where cells A4 through A17 have, correct, correct my own, typo, have full names. Give me a formula for column B that has their first and last initials. Let's submit. Okay, let's copy that. Go to Excel. I'm going to double click that. Paste. So again, this is the same issue we had in the first test that it seems to have an issue with row numbers, but that's okay. Not a huge deal. Let's fix those row numbers. Enter that. No. So this did not work. So um, I, I, I will say this, this is not passing. So, and again, it could be my fault. Maybe I didn't describe this uh, clearly enough. But now I don't want to leave you hanging. So um, I want to show you um, the correct formula or a correct formula that I use in my classes. So what I'm going to do here, let's leave that. And I'm just going to copy this header over here like that. And I'm going to paste in. And this uses uh, the left, mid, and find functions. And that is a correct formula that you can use. Now, I'm kind of curious. If I post the same question to chat GPT, will that give me the correct response? Maybe this is too difficult for any artificial intelligence to do. Let's do that. I'm just going to go to, let's paste in my question. Okay, now 
Unlike Excel Formula Bot, I did speed this up in the video. This is running a little slower, but let's see what happens. Let me copy the code. And right off the bat, I see this is, this is not right. So again, maybe I didn't explain it correctly, but let's see what happens. Let's go into Excel and I'm gonna create a third column for that. Let's paste in. Oh, this is this is awful. <laughs> that didn't that's that's that didn't work at all. <laughs> okay, well, what can I say? Artificial intelligence is still new, so neither of these AI tools could solve that third test. But Excel Formula Bot pretty much passed the other two tests. Now, if you want to try it on your own, they charge only seven dollars a month for unlimited use. And they do charge monthly. They're not going to charge you for a whole year in advance. I hate when sites do that. You can also try it for free, but for free you get only five queries a month. And you saw it does more than just formulas. You can get instructions, visual basic scripts, regular expressions, and SQL. All of these tools are continuously improving. Maybe by the time you watch this video, all of them will pass a third test. Who knows? So until next time, my name is Bob, and this is Bob's Machines.